Hello everyone and welcome on back to the channel. We are heading into yet another elite specialization that received some updates in this most recent balance patch and today we're going to look at the catalyst. I was going around the reddit watching some streams and I heard a lot about catalyst and I wanted to just take a peek at it and explore all the many facets that catalyst has to offer and just check some of its updates. I know that Catalyst didn't receive as many changes as perhaps some of the other professions did in this update. However, they did receive a few reworks and adjustments to some of their abilities to make them more reliable, specifically their Hammer 3rd ability, which used to be their orb projectile. Now it's just an orb visual that will pulse damage around you more consistently. Let's first talk about my gear that I'm running with. This isn't really anything different. I did move away from like full celestial because I've been testing out the power, so I just went kind of full berserker uh, with my accessories and- oh wait, <gasps> I have not equipped vision. Hold on. So yeah, full full berserkers and sadly for my hammer, I chose the celestial because I was like really into it. Let's talk about our elite specializations and our specs. I'm running with fire and I'm also running with earth. If you're wanting more damage, pure damage, I would probably recommend air. Maybe arcane, but I've seen people go for air and I watched a video recently that got I think like 46,000 damage so Catalyst is hitting pretty hard right now um, but I'm running with fire, burning precision, power overwhelming and persisting flames. Uh, for earth I've decided to run with earth's embrace, gain barrier when attuning to earth. This feels a little weak if I'm being all honest. Uh, strength of stone, honestly I probably could take elemental shielding but protection isn't that bad. Uh, strength of stone and I'm also running with stone heart and then as for Catalyst, hardened auras empowering auras and empowered emp empowerment uh, the aura traits were buffed up a little bit to compensate for the the self-reliability aspect you have to apply this yourself so i think the damage was bumped up also for spectacular sphere if you want to play that quickness generation you no longer are having your damage reduced by 10 percent so you're able to kind of play around in groups a bit more feel a little less punished i think this is a good change they also updated earth to grant aegis instead of resistance this is quite interesting and can be very powerful in certain scenarios but also sometimes very weak if you don't have proper timing off of Aegis. Uh, but that is basically all of the changes, really the auras, spectac spectacular sphere, and your third ability. This is now just a pulsing pulsing damage. Uh, so those are all of my traits for my utilities. I'm running with Soothing, soothing Water, Shattering Ice, Firestorm, Relentless Fire, and I'm taking Elemental Celerity. Elemental Celerity is not my favorite elite skill it, it is a little boring um but let's head on in and fight this elite speaker saboteur uh, so we're gonna pop down our fire field and get that combo we're gonna swap over to earth real quick just get some barrier and we're really going to try to keep up our orbs we're gonna go into shattering ice we're gonna use that flurry go into air and start up with some more damage um i'm gonna use my heal just i'm taking a little bit of damage as well i'm gonna pop back we're going to use Grand Finale. It seems like Grand Finale is still sometimes bugged where it won't actually, um, like, launch the final one, if that makes sense. Like, sometimes they kind of, uh, linger, uh, a bit unfortunately. I, I messed up the, I messed up the rotation so poorly, so badly. Uh, big bad, big sad. Um, major element about Catalyst with this update that I'm really enjoying is the passive orb. Oh gosh, got yeah, that knockback. Gotta, gotta remember about that knockback. The passive orb feels great, especially when you are um, fighting multiple enemies. You end up generating your um, energy much faster, which you always would, but especially with these orbs being a bit more consistent, it just feels more reliable. Let's use this. Yeah, the fire didn't launch. Which is a little sad that they haven't really nailed down the activation of Grand Finale just yet. Because that used to happen a lot, and I was hoping that with the projectiles that it wouldn't be as unreliable, but it still seems to be fairly unreliable. Let's go over here. Let's get- we're gonna use our healing and our shattering ice as well. We're gonna loop into that. We gain some more... Defenses, procking our aura traits, and yeah, Catalyst is just a lot of fun. Its damage in more controlled areas is performing very well. How it translates to a raid, I'll, I'm kind of unsure about. 
but uh, I've heard that it is maybe not the most complex rotation. It seems that you can probably learn it fairly easily and it will output quite a bit of damage. So we'll have to see. Let's fight this elite again. Uh, trying to talk and play at the same time is always a bit a bit rough. Because you're like, oh, okay, I, got, I have no aura traits, which is so sad. I gotta build up some energy. One thing about Catalyst is that when you go from fight to fight, trying to build up that energy can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Oh gosh. And to just play around with Spectacular Sphere. Its boon generation does feel pretty nice. Especially with quickness, of course, but that Aegis will also come in handy every every so often. Um, let me just build up some, some more energy real quick. Oh gosh, oh my god. I'm gonna get into some quickness, and here we can start to generate, oh gosh some more um, aura traits as well. So yeah, quickness and Aegis being so reliable and additionally fury and in such a large area feels very, very nice and extremely forgiving. I'm not even utilizing um, Sphere Specialist, which will increase your boon duration uh, by 100%. So you can be even um, more reliable in the department of quickness generation. Let's go over here. Sorry. But yeah, I would say Catalyst is still performing fairly well in in open world. At least I have not taken this into uh, in-game content. I mean, but for open world, this feels very, uh, very nice. Let's, that. Let's get our flame wheel going. Wait, if I double tap that, will that cancel the cast? No, it does not. Okay, that's good enough. Some more auras. And if you're running with sphere, a spectacular sphere, I would probably say uh, this gives you energy when you swap attunements, which is very nice, but gain elements of empowerment and might when you disable it or immobilize a foe. Vicious empowerment is probably really good. So yeah, we're currently at seven stacks of elemental empowerment, and we can get up to 10 stacks, I believe which we also have empowered empowerment, which is giving us even more benefits out of that. Let's start with fire. Oh my gosh, already into the knockback. How dare. We're going to water, gain some resolution. We're gonna pop both, just to increase healing when, when in open world. We need some quickness as well. Eight stacks. So yeah, I'd say Catalyst is a, a really nice class. These updates uh, to the passive element of your orbs are also doing more damage. Uh, they feel more reliable. The grand finale could be improved uh, a little bit more, but other than that, Catalyst is um, Catalyst is a lot of fun. I don't really know what else they could kind of hit with Catalyst other than maybe adding some energy generation on the other adepts and not just on energized elements um, as a potential like one or two energy to these so that you can kind of get a little bit more uh, energy generation in, in certain areas and not just swapping attunements um, but you can maybe play in attunements a bit longer gain those auras have that generation be focused on auras or have that generation be focused on disabling uh, foes that's my only recommendation uh, to kind of, you know, bolster the adepts just a little bit more and keep that as your energy generators. Um, yeah, Catalyst is a lot of fun. It's cool. And the benchmarks are benching quite high. Um, maybe a little worryingly high. I think there is kind of a upper limit that Guild Wars 2 should try to avoid um, as much as possible. But it's fun. I think these updates are going to prove Catalysts quite well. So thank you everyone so much for coming on by. Like the video if you liked it. Comment below your thoughts about the Catalyst and maybe either other elementalist changes. Of course, we have some scepter changes. Ooh, swapping weapons, how fun. And if you'd like to support the channel, head on over to Patreon, get early access to all these videos. And if you'd like to catch me over on Twitch, I stream there every day of the week and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Mwah.